Hello and welcome back to another lecture. Now that we have installed Homebrew on our computer, the next software we will install is Item2. Item2 is the terminal we will use to SSH into our EC2 instance and complete our projects. We will use Homebrew to install Item2 on our computer. So make sure you've watched the previous tutorial I did on how to install Homebrew on your computer. Once you've installed Homebrew on your computer, the next thing I want you to do is come to the Homebrew website, and this is the website URL. Once you are on the Homebrew website, in this search box, type item 2 in there. Once you type item 2, select it here. Under your search results, you'll see item 2 here, and for the name, you'll see item 2. To use Homebrew to install item 2 on your computer, all you have to do is run this command. So what I want you to do is click this box to copy it. Once you've copied the command, let's open the terminal. To open the terminal, press Ctrl and the spacebar key and type terminal in the search box. Then select terminal here. In your terminal, paste that command you just copied in there. Once you've pasted the command, press the return key. And there you go. It is now installing item 2 on my computer. I'll give it some time to finish installing it. There you go. Item 2 has been successfully installed on my computer. Once you have installed it, the next thing I want you to do is close the terminal. And if your terminal is still showing down here, right click on it and select quit. Then right click on it again. Go to options and select remove from dock. Instead of using the terminal that came with the Mac computer, we will use item 2. To open item 2, I want you to press the command key and the space bar key. Then type item 2 in the search box. Once you type item, select item here. Then click open. Once you have opened the item terminal, the first thing I want you to do is dock it. Right click on it here. Then go to options and select keep in dock. Once you've docked it, the next thing I want you to do is change your font. To change your font, you can select item 2 here. Select Preferences, then select Profile, select Text, and here you can change the font here by increasing this number. I'll change it to 18. Once you've increased the font size, click this X to close it. Now you can see the font size is much bigger. The last thing I want us to do is change the shell from ZSH to Bash. To change the shell to bash, you will run this command. This is the command you will use to change your shell to bash. Once you have typed the command, press the return key. Then it will ask you for the password of your computer. Enter the password. Once you've entered the password, press the return key. We have successfully run the command. The next thing we will do is close the terminal. I'm going to right click in here and click quit. Then click OK. Once you have quit the terminal, we will open it again. Select your terminal. This option is asking you if you want to automatically check for updates. You can either automatically check or deny it. I'm going to automatically check by clicking this button. Once you open the terminal, you will see that you have successfully changed your shell to bash. To also confirm that you have changed your shell to bash, you can run this command. Once you type this command, press the return key. Once you type this command and press the return key, you should see the output here and the output says bash. This is how you install item 2 on your computer. An item 2 is the terminal we will use to SSH into our EC2 instance and complete our projects. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.